In this video, we'll take a look at a few of the exercise questions for parallelograms and trapezoids. Starting with this trapezoid here, this is a perimeter and area question. So what we want to do when we calculate our perimeter is we want to add all of our sides. And we see that everything is in centimeters, so it's going to be 7 plus 12 plus 8 plus 6. So the perimeter for this question is going to be 27 and 3 more is 33 centimeters. For the area, we are going to use the formula height times the basis that are added together divided by 2. We can see that our bases are the ones that are parallel. So for this trapezoid, the parallel sides are 8 centimeters and 12 centimeters and the height is coming from the right angle, so the height is 5 centimeters. So we're going to take 5 times 12 plus 8, all divided by 2. So that equals 5 times 20, divided by 2, which is 100, divided by 2. So the area of this trapezoid is 50 square centimeters. For D, we can see that we have parallel sides. The 7 and the 9 are the parallel sides. They will never cross. So those are our bases. And the height is shown where there is the right angle. So the height here is 5 inches. So let's calculate the area first this time. So the area is 5 times 7 plus 9 all divided by 2. So that's going to be 5 times 16 divided by 2. And when we multiply 5 times 16 and divide it by 2, we're going to get an area of 40, and this is going to be square inches. For our perimeter, we're going to add all the sides. So we're going to take 7 plus 5, plus 9, plus 6. And that's going to equal 27. And this time it's going to be inches. So our perimeter is 27 inches, and our area is 40 square inches. Now E is our challenge problem, not because it's more difficult, but because of the orientation of the trapezoid. We so often get comfortable seeing the trapezoid have the bases on the kind of the up and down, like this 22.6 and the 22. But in this case, no, these are not the bases. Remember, the bases of a trapezoid have to be parallel lines. And this 22.6, if we were to draw that up, and the 22, eventually those ones would cross each other down below. So if we extend it out, 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 we eventually get them to cross. So the parallel sides are the 10 and the 15 on this trapezoid. So for our area, we are going to change our orientation. The bases are 10 and 15. So that means that the height is going upwards from the right angle here. So the height is 22 centimeters. Once we have that, we use our formula. So our height is 22 multiplied to the two bases added together, all divided by 2. So the area here is 22 times 25 divided by 2. And that works out to 275 square centimeters. For our perimeter, it's just a matter of adding all of our sides. So we're going to take that 10 plus 22 plus 15 plus 22.6. So we don't want to round unless they tell us to. So we're going to add those up and we get a total of 69.6 centimeters. So remember, perimeter is in centimeters, it's the outside measurement, and area is in square centimeters, 
It's the inside measurement.